what's up guys and uh, welcome to yet another video guys so guys welcome today i i know that for some time for like two months now i have not really make any video for you guys or you know show you the normal thing we normally do so it's not my fault to some extent because actually let me show you something i am doing my nyc service all right so i went for camping as you can see see there as you can see here so i went for camping you know it lasts for 21 days and after that i take out for one month to you know put some things together a lot of things i need to attend to so because of that i was not able but now i'm fully back for you all right so i know what we do here i normally take analysis i show you guys what to do when i'm entering the trade and every details you need to know so make sure if you are new if you are just coming in contact with my video for the first time make sure you click this also do that now all right it helps to you know make the youtube algorithm to show the video to other people who might need the video all right so make sure you subscribe to the channel and you know follow us all right so today what i got for you is that i'm going to be showing you the, the trade that i'm going to be taking for next week all right so i'm going to be showing you the trade that i'm going to be taking and maybe you take a look at it and see so that you can join us and there are a couple of juicy setup that you're going to be seeing all right so make sure you don't miss out don't 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 miss out okay so let's jump into this so guys the first pair we are going to take a look at today is AUD USD all right so but you know as we normally do it normally do top down analysis so i'm going to be showing you this line i drew it before now but for the sake of this video i'm going to clear everything and start afresh all right let's say you are just watching or you're just following me for the first time so that you understand my ideology or how I approach the market so they can take advantage of it as well all right so let me just clear everything so if i clear it let me remove drawing okay so everything is cleared out now all right so see what you normally do if you come to monetary time frame for instance so you come to why do you come to monetary time frame you need to see the overall direction of the market okay you need to see the overall direction of the market when you take a look at here you discover that you no know, you don't need anybody to tell you that this is a, a downtrend okay we have this move from here all the way down to this spread and it pulls back to this level as you can see just like you see here when the market drop they normally consolidate a bit then it drop again as you can see in this case it pull back but this pull back is a lot deeper compared to this one and what we see here all right then it drop again are you getting it no so we are expecting it to come down lower why because if you look at look at it here you see that the market is giving you lower low lower low are you getting it so even though you reach here you pull back a bit or expect this one to drop more but there is one thing i want to show you in monetary time frame watch this because we have to take a look at what is happening there. if you see here you notice that at this point before this market dropped it give you this candle this bearish candle engulf how many candle? You see how many candle that this market engulf? I get it. Let's just for instance now the newest one, which is about three candle, or let's say just these two bullish candle engulf it, and after engulf it, market drop to this level. I get it. Then again, see what happened again. In this case again, you see when market pull back to this level, this bearish candle again also engulf one two. Are you getting it? Which is the same thing here. Let me not start counting this one but even if you take a look at it discover a, a engulf more than two say but they just consider the bullish candle that a bearish candle engulf then what happened again in this case again see here what happened when market after this two bullish candle this candle engulf it and market drop so watch this one now if you see here which is the current market condition all right let me just make it bold this is what I'm considering at the higher time frame. I want you to pay attention so that you don't miss any step. All right. Then watch here now. You discover that this bearish candle also do the same thing, which means engulf one, two. Are you getting it? This bearish candle engulf this two bullish candle. It happened here, market drop. It happened this place, market drop. It also happened here, market drop. So for this reason, we are expecting it for this market to drop higher i get it because of this is monetary time frame when you see an engulfing candle in a monthly time frame it is very very powerful i get it don't play with it don't play with it i'm telling you honestly don't play with it so this confirms that okay even though the market because just because the market is in a downtrend does not mean that it does not experience pullback what if the year is pulling back i get it but this side here that we experience in a higher time frame is showing us okay 
there is high probability for this market to keep heading down because of this engulfing candle we see in a higher time frame. So having established that far, the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to come towards weekly time frame. In weekly time frame is where we mark out our key levels. If you don't know what the key level is, these are key zones that the market have rejected over time. Are you getting me? So for instance, now if you take a look at it, you discover that this market is making or a kind of is moving zone by zone. Are you getting it? You notice that market move from this zone. Just pay attention. Let me show you. All right. From this zone, then the market enter this zone. Okay. Then from this zone now, we are seeing a different zone here. Let me just show you. So let me zoom out so that you can be able to see it clearly. So watch again. You see this zone. For instance, if you, if you take it from here, all right. Taking a look at this now, you should see why. Why did I draw it here? I see we have this touch, even though this one is more like a wick. Are you getting it? Then and this touch. Are you getting it? Because of that, that's why I draw it here. So now we have this three. This three zone is enough for us to know what is happening in the market. How do you know that? As you can see here, market move from this zone. It gets up to this zone, then it drops to here. But on reaching here, it consolidates a bit before it breaks the level. Then come back here. Wait more. You have to respect these zones, even though the market want to break out. But you will notice that it always respect these zones. Are you getting it? Then the next thing, when markets come here, you know, stagger a bit. But the market is meant to break as you can see break out and reach the second zone on reaching this zone again the market starts heading down come back to this zone do i say if you want to go out but it's time for it to break as you can see you break out this zone if you break out this zone you come back retest and head back to this zone on reaching this zone again they come back to this zone that's why i told you that this market move zone by zone from one zone to another zone. Are you getting it? So if you put that in your brain, that will tell you, okay, if this market is in this direction, if you reach this level, what's the next level is going to do? It's going to the other level. So if this market moves from here to this left, what is the next level is going to be? Since it already shows you sign that it's getting down, then the next zone is here. Are you getting it? So having established this in what in weekly time frame, then we can be able to go to daily time frame. We do it from my remember, we are not entering a trade in a daily time frame. Or weekly time frame monthly. Are you getting it? We are using it to see the direction of the market. Monthly say down, weekly say down. Let's see what the daily time frame is saying. All right. So in daily time frame, now as you can see here, we see what is happening here. The market, let's say for instance, let me just touch this and see what's going on here. Did you see it? You see market touch here, first one, second one. And you know, normally, thought touch always do the trick. Are you getting it? Because it tends to move higher, lower, like it keep heading lower. It's meant, based on the rule of uh, trend uh, line, it's expected that this is going to create a new low. Are you getting it? And this low is even expected to be deeper than this one we see here. Are you getting it? So this is meant to create a new low all the way down to this level. But our target is for it to reach here based on the zone by zone. It may reach here and consider a bit. But overall, based on the rule of what? Trend line. Are you getting it? So I don't want my charts to be too, you know, clumsy. So let me just remove that. Then having established that now, remember we have been analyzing it and right now we see that this is a third touch reaching to, expecting it to reach here. So let me zoom in more so that you can be able to see it clearly. So right now, now you see this. So what happened here is that after market consolidated here, as you can see, then market break above below here. When market break this level, you see market break come back and hit all the way up here, you know, give you double top here, then start breaking down. So as market break down here, start pulling back. Watch here. You notice that this region, this region is where the market, you know, it cannot give you uh, a, a resistant level so the same thing happened here so when market reach here is a drop 
market to reach here, it drop. Are you getting it? Then if we come to four hours time frame, if we come to four hour time frame, remember what are we do? We try to identify key levels where we should be entering the market. Okay. Then from here now, let's say for instance, now if I take this, which is Fibonacci, and I draw it from this low, drag it all the way to this level, you will see that here is actually a what? A Fibonacci level. Are you getting it? This is a Fibonacci level. Actually, I enter this trade at this candle when I notice this level. At this level, when I see market reach here, drop, when I see a uh, Four hours and go from can that when I short this market all the way. But my rule is that if I short this market and this market reach to this 50% retracement, I'm going to take part of my profit, partial, call it partial profit. You can take 20% to 50% of my rule, depending on how I see the trend. Are you getting it? You can take 50% of your position. Or let's say you place two lots, you close one lot. Are you getting it if you are taking 50% or you, you close uh, 0 0.5, depending? Are you understand? So what happened is that I immediately I closed my trade here. That is for last week. I just placed the trade. So as I close my trade here, I do I break even. I break even. As I break even, then market pull back to this level again. But let me show you something. Something you don't know. If you take a look at here now, you see that even though we have an upper trend line, which is the one I just deleted, that if you connect this trend line, because I, I start wondering why is this market coming down like this? Did you notice here we have first touch, second touch? Are you getting it? So, which means here is also a third touch. Even inside the trend, there is another trend. I don't know if you get it. So, for here now, you see, okay, maybe this market is referring back to respect the third touch of this trend. Are you getting? Remember, our overall is for the market to come down to this level. Okay, for market to come down to this level. But as you can see, when markets have a strong trend, like as you can see, market move from all the way down to this place. So you don't just expect it to move in a straight line all the way here. So consolidation here gives you opportunity for you to enter more trade. Do you get a point? It gives you opportunity to enter more trade. So if you take a look at here, you see that okay, in four hours we draw this trend line where we have first touch, second touch, and the third touch. Then what is happening in these four hours? If you notice, sorry, in daily time frame, you see this does give you a pin bar daily candle. You know, when you see a pin bar in daily candle, it signifies a lot. Are you getting it? As you, let me let me let me let me kind of expand this so that you see clearly. I don't know if you see it today. At what at the third touch of trend line? You see, at the third touch of trend line. Remember that my first position is still here. All right. So my first position is still here, which I already break even, take some profit and break even. So, but with this. I'm expecting the market to pull down from here all the way down to this place. But if you have not entered this trade, one of the things you can do is that as you come to four hours, you will see that this market here is a key level. So you can come to four hours. It dropped this black line. What this black line is telling you is that if this market come and break below here, see, we still have a space. You understand we have space from here all the way down to this place so if this market come break below here come back you know let me i don't know let me check if i can see something i will do let's say the market break like this then come come back to this level then from here if it reverses all the way down to here you see this place have opportunity for you to enter the trade that is what you should be expecting next week all right because you know if you enter here and if i told you to enter here you discover that your risk to reward relationship kind of low let's say when market open now for instance if you if you decide to come and draw something like trend line here or so though we have week here this kind of week is somehow let's say when market break fully four hours tomorrow after four hours candle break here if you put your if you enter here now you discover that your stop loss is quite wide all right. Are you getting it? But it's still okay. But if you notice, your first take profit is small. So because of that, so because of that, you see that uh, 
is not good. So because uh, I, I advise you, so what I would advise you is to wait for this market to break this black line, then give it that is high probability setup because you have not entered. Okay, so that is it for this particular trade for this week. So make sure you know you take advantage of it when market open, wait for this market to break this black line, then pull back, give you an entry before you shut the market all the way down. I don't know if you find value in this. So next let me just analyze another pair so which is gbp usd gbp usd i've been looking for opportunity to enter this move but it didn't work as a spec. so just as usual if you come to higher time frame you should be able to see what is happening in a higher time frame you see you see here we have how many touch here so you see first touch here then second touch here this one is actually the third touch which is what came all the way here touch it as you can see the market is quite bearish you already know as i show you in the earlier video how i draw these key levels so with this you expect this market to come all the way down to this place okay but because you are seeing this in a higher monthly time frame does not mean you just jump in you don't do that all right so what do you do if you take a look at here you see that in weekly time frame here as you can see market is heading down it's running the way all the way down to this place now so what do we do i've been waiting for this market because i was looking at it at the daily time frame whereby we see something like head and shoulder you see here markets come give you this head. you need to see this shoulder see the head see another another head here as you can see so what i was expecting or what i was targeting I draw something like this, expected the market as it break to pull back here, but it did not, it did not give me that yet. So when this candle was forming, I was expecting that this market will come to this level before. And I think news come up or something like that. Last week, there a couple of news, CP, uh, CPI and things like that. So the market could not reach here a revert pull, but I am not going to rush. So you see another level here. So I'm expecting this market to pull down to this level. Then it can be able to push back to this level i get in it if you, even if you check if you check here you see you know we have a couple of uh, you see you see that here is actually you know a good place to wait for this market okay uh probably around here just anywhere within here so the market pull back if pull back to this level or better still let me show you something see this if as as it stands now let's say this market now take a look at here now if you start pulling back one of the things you can pay attention to although i'll still update you guys that's why you need to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out okay i'm going to update you guys on that if i pull my trend line my fibonacci level and drag it all the way let's say for instance this market later come to this level and start revising if you come to this level and start revising then if we pull back to this zone as you can see here, here is what a 50 percent fit fit level when market reach here and show a sign of preparation, when we're going to shut the hell out of this market, okay? So that is it for this one. As you can see here, already you, if you take to apply the rules I use in the other one, you see that definitely. And moreover, if this market did not pull back, then we want to wait for this market to break here. To break here, you see here is very very clear. The distance are very very clear. You need to look for the best setup. If this market did not pull back here, wait. When this market come here, if you break this line come down a bit it's going to pull back the market does not just move in a straight all the way down here so it's going to come down here subscribe because i'm going to come back here to give you update on what to do about this all right so that is what i have for you guys see the reason i'm going to give i'm giving you these two pairs is you know is the one that is closer that the setup is forming i get in some other one i kind of confused but i don't want to start going to it this is more like what uh, usd euro usd okay so but for now, let's just focus. We don't have to trade everything. You just choose one or two pairs for the week or the one that the setup is giving you what you want, not something that is confused. I get it. This market needs to come here, clear the here down. If you come here, clear here, break below here and push back here. That is when we start looking to buy, to sell, looking for selling opportunity for it. That is, if we take a look at this in higher time frame. Okay, that is for Euro USD. So that's why I don't want to come and start going up. But for you for you to get clarity let's say you want to trade it you want to take a look at it where the market have already cleared this side are you getting it you break below here because it's i see now they see everywhere clear everywhere good for here we have all the way down to this place 
So when Matthew clear here, give us more concentration pair. We shut it down. Are you getting me? So if you find value in this, don't forget to click the subscribe button and you know as well, leave your comment in the comment sections.